uh, Ken Miller with the call and post. Coach, what did you think without getting yourself fined, what did you think about the officiating tonight? I never, you won't hear me complain about officials. What adjustments? They, do, they have a really hard job and they do um, a tremendous job night in, night out. There's no, I've got nothing bad to say, nothing but good things. Were you playing a variation of a zone throughout no. parts of this game? Not once. Thanks. David McVenom, ESPN. When you guys cut it to eight late in the third, and then the Cavs responded with a seven-two run, did you feel like that that was a, a momentum shift headed into the fourth? Well, I mean, we cut it back to eight in the fourth too. So, I mean, it's a long game. Um, I thought the um, and maybe this is the point in time you're referring to. The, the very end of the third quarter was not good. Um, end of the first, end of the third, or two that really stand out as not good. Um, you know, the rest of the game, obviously, I thought we, we, we had some shots we'd like to have back. I mean, I thought we got – we had a couple possessions where we had multiple driving kicks. The defense was broken down, and we just didn't convert. Um, but um, the end of the first, end of the third, was, those, were, those were tough on us. Right. Chris Maddox with Yahoo. Uh, LeBron's ability to kind of dissect what you're doing out there in, in real time, how, how much more difficult does that make it for you to establish a defensive identity? Well, I thought we defended a lot better in the second half. I just didn't think – I thought that, you know, we have to have five guys playing all out and, and really honed in defensively. Um, in the first half, I didn't think we were as honed in. Um, I thought we were playing hard, but I didn't think we were as honed in. In the second half, we were much better. But yeah, he's he's the best in the game at um, you know evaluating the court and figuring out what he wants and where he wants it. And um, you know, and the the thing about it is, is that you know you just have to battle. You just have to make it as hard as possible because he's going to find a matchup that he ultimately wants. And you have to again, you know, not let the other guys go off, and which we did again a little bit, and then make sure you make it as tough on him as possible. He seemed to be looking for that Rozier switch pretty often uh, in this one. How, how do you keep him from getting that moving forward? Well, he's going to go after whoever he wants to go after. But at the end of the day, you know, we've done this a lot. You know, we've gone through it a lot. I think one of the things that sometimes we all get consumed with is the points he scores on that switch. And if it's eight, but it keeps you from rotating and you don't can still guard the three-point line, then sometimes you just have to pick your poison. And, um, you know, it's obviously been more effective to switch than not. But at times, you have to mix that up and change that up just by the numbers. Um, you know, when you go back and rewatch the game, you, you, you know, you're always thinking about how you're going to adjust the different coverages. And it always ends up transition, offensive rebounds, and good shots. You know, and so we got to take care of those areas first. And then, you know, the coverages will – um, will be mixed up, but ultimately good players make plays. Brad over here, Kenny Rota, WHBC Radio. They had 17 threes on you last game, only eight, I think, tonight. Were you happy with the way your guys defended uh, the three-pointer tonight? There were a couple that we, you know, a couple that Corver got that were too open, um, including one he missed there when they were coming, or when we were coming back. Um, but, you know, we were a little bit better than the other night, but I don't know how we could be much worse than the other night. As far as the pace, you guys seem to control the pace after the, the first quarter. Where, was that uh, an emphasis going into I just want to take great shots. I don't care if they come early, late, whatever. We need to take great shots. And we did that some, but not as much as we need to. Brad, what's the messaging you give your players going into game five? It's the best two out of three to go to the NBA Finals. Doesn't get better than that. I mean, ultimately, you know, anybody that didn't think this was going to be tough, I mean, everything is tough. And, you know, in, in this deal, it's a blast to have to grit your teeth, get up off the mat, and go after it again. That's part of it. That's, put, that's part of what makes these guys on both sides special. It's part of what makes the Western Conference team special. They're able to do it. They're able to block out everything that doesn't matter and go compete. And that's what we'll go do. Coach, uh, John Schumann, NBA.com. I know you feel like you played worse in game three in general, but 
it, did it feel like there was more sort of glaring mental mistakes tonight than than you are uh, accustomed to, or, or that you, or more than you guys can overcome? Well, I think obviously we've got to play better than we did. I'll go through and film, and we'll relook at it and determine, um, you know, the main reasons why we were where we were. But certainly, we didn't play a perfect game. Brad, Steve Belt, Pat, Boston Herald. It seemed like you had several opportunities to, to get back in and make it tighter. Was there anything common, that, any common thread that uh, prevented that, you think? Well, I mean, when we had it to eight, I thought we missed a couple of really good opportunities on offense that were really good shots. Um, and then I thought we did try to hit home runs on some other shots um, as we were coming back at other times that were, you know, um, you know, those will catch up with you. Brad Ray Jeske, <clears throat> excuse me, Ray Jeske, ESPN 990. Um, it seems to be a, a theme that the team that has one really bad quarter loses. Um, after the first quarter, are you generally pleased with how your team performed, especially going into game five, a as a correctable? I was generally pleased with how we performed the first five minutes of the game. It was just the end of the first quarter. Um, and then the end of the third, I thought, you know, we're going to have moments where we're up and down. These guys are really good. They're hard to play. Um, you know, Ty does a great job putting them in great positions. Like, this is a really good basketball team. And, and so we're not going to play perfect, and we're going to have our moments. But we can't have those, those swoons that we have at the end of each of those quarters. 